It is January 22nd, 2017, and I just received an alert that an 8.0 magnitude earthquake has just struck in the South Pacific, specifically the Solomon Islands. And we're going to go ahead and just jump straight into this information. I immediately pulled up a lot of the earthquake maps that I use. And as you can see, just in the past several hours, we've had a lot of larger earthquakes. Uh, 4.9 in Chile, in Chile uh, followed by another 4.7 in Argentina. Uh, there were several earthquakes in South America. Uh, there were several earthquakes that are now occurring on the African continent. And then let's just stroll straight over here to the South Pacific. And let's take a look at these earthquakes. Now, as you can see, it is registering two different earthquakes, a magnitude 8, 47 minutes ago, Papua New Guinea. And it's also registering another magnitude 8. Uh, not too far, looks to be pretty close right on the shoreline. Now, I do know they have issued a tsunami warning for the area. I'm looking at different agencies that are reporting. And um, the European agency has this at a 7.9 magnitude. And I'm very, very surprised the USGS has this also as an 8.0. Now the situation is going to arise because this was a very deep earthquake and uh, you can see the reverberation of this earthquake is going to be felt clean through the entire country of Australia and probably within the days to come, you're probably going to see some devastating earthquake activity down in New Zealand and possibly in Japan. You may see more earthquakes further east in the Indonesian islands and as far up as into China. However, the big picture is going to be the west coast of the United States, specifically from the state of Washington and Oregon along the Canadian border, all the way down through Mexico, specifically the area of California and South America. These earthquakes in South America, you do have some of them that do occur here to the north near Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. However, the majority of these earthquakes, they fall right along this fault line and Chile is usually the victim. But I want to go ahead and just uh, check the, uh, the 3D earthquake tracker because I know there were several other earthquakes that occurred and they're not up on these other feeds right now. So we're going to just go ahead and turn this all the way down and try to check the last few earthquakes on this 3D tracker. Now, something that's kind of odd are these earthquakes that are occurring in, uh, in Africa. Uh, they're not listed right now on this feed, but I could go and check the other feeds for this. Uh, we have an earthquake right now. And that looks to be a 2.9 up in Alaska but let's move to this earthquake over here in the Solomon Islands and it looks to be a very deep quake a very large earthquake you could see by the uh, the ring here it's uh, it's going to encompass a very very large area yeah this is this is definitely not looking good folks a magnitude 8.0 deep earthquake we've already had the deepest recorded earthquake uh, over in Indonesia about a little over a week ago, maybe, maybe less. And uh, we were all waiting for the reverberation of this deep earthquake to see how it was going to affect other regions. And apparently it's been more than seven days. And now we have the deep earthquake in the Solomon Islands, an 8.0. Yeah, that's definitely not good. That's definitely not good at all. We'll go ahead and jump back over here. I'm just going to go ahead and show you this region. You know, this is this is the Ring of Fire. Now, they're not listing any of the earthquakes uh, the way I have the map turned right here for the west coast of the United States. But this is the Ring of Fire, folks. And you can already see 11 hours ago, a magnitude 4.8 in Japan. Uh, a 4.4 in the Philippines, a 4.3 in Burma, and uh, right 
here, northern tip of um, Africa, a 4.4 in Egypt. Now, I do know there was another earthquake that just occurred uh, somewhere here in Africa, but it's, it's not listing yet. But we're definitely going to have some concerns. Uh, this, this earthquake, this is definitely going to affect the Mediterranean region. And I would definitely say to anyone who lives in the country of Italy, um, I would definitely say within the next five to seven days, possibly sooner, you better be on watch. You better be on a serious watch in the, in the country of Italy. There's just absolutely no doubt about it. And once again, also to the west coast of the United States. Now we're going to go and just take a little closer look at the west coast here. And you can see these earthquakes are swarming. They are getting, um, you know, a little bit bigger in magnitude. Now, you're still having a lot of minor quakes, these micro quakes. But they're also undergoing another damaging rainstorm that is coming into the West Coast. And uh, I do have a really good weather map. And I just want to take a look at this real quick. And see what's actually occurring right now over in um, the West Coast. I'm going to take a look at their weather and this, this storm coming in. I know they were having big problems with flooding in Houston. And uh, also some flooding in uh, California. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and pan over here to the United States. I want to take a look at this coming into uh, California. Okay, let's look at the precipitation. Well, you can see right there, uh, there's a very large system, very heavy rains. You can see by my, my cursor, it's... We're just going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit more so we can get some measurements on, on this rain. Almost looks like a little mini cyclone of some kind. <laughs> really just battering uh, the coastline of California. So they're definitely going to be getting drenched on the West Coast. And probably within the next seven days, maybe less, maybe slightly more, I would definitely look for some increased earth, earthquake activity all along the um, all along the region all along the west coast of the United States Mexico all the way down into South America there's just absolutely no doubt with a magnitude 8.0 uh, falling exactly where it did in the Solomon Islands now, this is going to be felt all the way across the Pacific in a matter of days there's just absolutely no doubt about it. Folks, I'm going to go ahead and stay on top of this. Uh, I have already checked into the tsunami warning. They do have a warning as of right now. And there are no reports coming out yet of any type of damage. However, taking a look at where this earthquake hit. And again, uh, some agencies are showing two 8.0 magnitude earthquakes. Now, this is only showing one on the North Solomon Island, dead center, and it looks to be, I'm trying to zoom in here to see, uh, it's slightly, slightly on land. It's very, very hard to say. Very close to land or partially on land and on the coast, and you can see there are two either small uh, villages or towns located right dead center in the middle of the epicenter of this earthquake. I would definitely look to see damage in both of these areas with an 8.0 magnitude earthquake followed by another one. And I'm sure they'll be having many aftershocks. We will definitely stay on top of this. And this is probably going to be an all-nighter. So, folks, stay tuned. Thank you for watching the Nibiru channel. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 22nd, 2017. And I just received an alert that an 8.0 magnitude earthquake has just struck in the South Pacific, specifically the Solomon Islands. And we're going to go ahead and just jump straight into this information. I immediately pulled up a lot of the earthquake maps that I use. And as you can see, just in the past several hours, we've had a lot of larger earthquakes 
uh, 4.9 in Chile, in Chile uh, followed by another 4.7 in Argentina. Uh, there were several earthquakes in South America. Uh, there were several earthquakes that are now occurring on the African continent. And then let's just stroll straight over here to the South Pacific and let's take a look at these earthquakes. Now, as you can see, it is registering two different earthquakes, a magnitude eight, 47 minutes ago, Papua New Guinea. And it's also registering another magnitude eight. Uh, not too far, looks to be pretty close right on the shoreline. Now, I do know they have issued 